Hello, and welcome to another jazz session where we are continuing with Tales of Berseria. Alright, so let's jump right back into it. So, we're going after a high priest who just turned into a lizard demon, which is apparently natural when he gets angry. Some people turn into hulks, he turns into lizards. What was that? that sounded painful. Cats! Not cats. Okay. I'll take that. I saw a big thing. What? What is that? Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. Oh, he ate the high priest. The demon returned to human form? And what is that beast? My next meal. Oh, it's a seal. There's a barrier here. So what? The Abbey is holding this thing captive? This barrier, I know it well. It seems our errand has met with success. At least technically speaking. Right. Let's get out of here. What did you do to the High Priest? What is this demon? I don't know, and I don't care. Do not mock me! You are the mockery. What do you hope to do to me without your exorcist powers? <laughs> do it. No. Be cry, baby. Poor Eleanor. People, we're demons. Well, that was some night though. Two of them Stay are sharp. people. Dawn hasn't come yet. Oh, okay. And here I thought it was actually like going to be a battle. I wanted to fight that thing. Stealing a Moloch from an exorcist. How did you pull that one off, Mogilu? The info was my Moloch to begin with. Then he betrayed me and ran away from his rightful home. <laughs> Miss Mogulu treats Malakim so bad, bad, bad. I couldn't take it anymore. After a little while, I ran into Madam Eleanor. She was so much nicer to me. I see, I see. Now, just how am I going to punish you for that little slander on my character? <laughs> the bad, bad days are here again. I You're tend to exorcist, believe him. Then. Eh, I'm a witch, silly. Bianfu here is the catalyst thingy for my magic. But only exorcists can form a pact with Malakim. <laughs> oh yeah? Says who? Someone who likes making dumb rules? <laughs> Enough, Velvet. Questioning her is a good way to go mad. I agree. Expedition returned. Take a look at this. Oh, again, one success isn't terrible. Yeah, Scout why not? ship setting sail. Third time's a charm. Alright, so let's get back to the Shadow Guild. Hey, guy. Okay. Hooray! Corrupted ore, right? Oh, hey, yeah. Okay, that thing. I remember now. Uh, I'll probably will fight it later. Alright, what you got to say? You did the job well, it seems. You heard quickly. That's about all I'm good for. 
And with these old ears, sometimes it's hard to hear at all. And did you learn anything about the key for passing through the barrier? Yes. Only the high-ranking exorcists can enter through the barrier protecting Artorius and his temple. Exorcists are considered high-ranking if they are accompanied by at least four greater Malachim. Hmm. So if we had four powerful Malachim with us, we could slip through. But Malachim outside the Abbey's control are rare. They thought this through. Hmm. Well, I may not look it, but I'm a greater Malak. Aizen, Lafiset, and Bienfu. So we just need one more. We'll have to steal it then. So I have to come too? Sounds like a pain. Yep. Then stay. We don't need you. We'll keep Bienfu though. You have no courtesy. How about it would be an honor, Madame Mogilu? More like that. Have you hung would out you with come Velvet? If we asked to attack the shepherd. <laughs> Depends on how you ask. A battle between shepherd and demon sounds like a real fine spectacle. I'm afraid this is just how Miss Mogilu is. Miss Mogilu, um, I. I would like it if if you came with us. Pl please. Luffy said. Well, what choice does that leave me? I suppose I could tag along a little while longer. You can count on me. Melchior will be there. You and I still share the same goal. Our business is done. You can have this back. Keep it, dear. As long as you have that, we will count you as an ally worthy of aid. Cool. Allies of the ones trying to kill the savior? You might regret that. <laughs> Such a considerate young lady. Listen, dear. All of us live on the fringes of their so-called reason, do we not? Don't say I didn't warn you. You didn't? Well, pretty sure the no, way these guys operate. That, uh. My, my. The minute they get caught. I can't blame them. And try it's to say that night. the uh, Shadow Guild helped them. Some aid for your allies? They're just gonna call BS. Of course. Right away. You're finally up. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Getting sleepy or hungry is a natural part of life. I won't eat you. What about your wounds? Feeling pain? That's also natural, right? I'm fine. It was nothing. You're really tough, aren't you, Velvet? You have to be tough, if what you seek is revenge. Revenge? We're leaving. Rokuro and the others are waiting at the plaza. All right. Let's go find this fourth greater molecule. Joy to face a clear, refreshing morning, especially after a long night of meting punishment on my heartless betrayer. <laughs> my poor battered body. God. You better not kill our key. You're one to talk. Better not eat the boy. He's your precious key now. I know. Oh. He's also got her brother's name. Empyrean. I doubt she's well, gonna eat him. one thing, but Empyreans are, you know, just gods who created the world. You think you can win just by smacking it around a bit? 
That's no Empyrean. It's a phony. Artorius is just using a legend to control the people. Wouldn't a true god be able to do something about the demon blight? <sighs> you don't believe in Enominat? I believe there exists something people call Enominat. But it's just a Moloch that used a special art to bring the other Molochim into our world. You sound confident. I witnessed it three years ago. Well, if it's not actually a god we're against, we just might stand a chance. Of course we do. And ultimately, our target is Artorius. I don't care about anything else. Revenge against Artorius. For her brother. All right, Lafayette. Which way is the Empyrean's throne? Um, it was north of Logris, in the mountains up the Danan Highway. If exorcists are keeping up their inspections, they might provide us a chance to steal another Moloch. I sent my men a Sylphje with orders to scout out the inspectors. With their information, we'll be able to plan the attack. Hmm. We can meet up at Port Zexen. That's the plan. Affirmative, Captain. Let's go talk to a couple people before we uh, do the skit. I hear the High Priest was injured and will be recuperating somewhere for the near future. The church is saying he was cleaning his villa when something fell off a shelf and hit him. But there's also rumors that thieves snuck into the palace and attacked him. If that's true, who could have done it? He's always been there for the people, and everyone looks up to him. What a terrible rumor. Indeed. I want to believe it's just that, a rumor. But it's got the children all frightened. I'm not scared at all! Liar! Sis saw you crying! I'm the one who's not scared at all! If any bad guys show up, I'll handle them! Ooh, scary. I'm sure bad guys won't come near you. Something fell off a shelf? Nice. They're doing a really good job of covering this up. If it got out that the high priest was murdered and in the castle well, if the of all the people places, are going to be that gullible, I mean, government. you can come up with an easy, easy explanation. Those sylph jays are handy little birds, aren't they? Not only will they always find their destination, they can make for emergency rations in a pin. I hear grilled sylph jay goes rather well with a nice glass of the hard stuff. It's because of the work those birds do for us that we're able to stay one step ahead of the Abbey. Those birds are indispensable to us pirates, and we consider them a part of our crew. <laughs> all right, all right. Still, I wonder how they actually do their thing. I know that carrier pigeons rely on their homing instincts, but sylph jays can locate a person wherever they are, right? They're really smart birds. I read in a book that rather than memorizing locations, they can pick up on people's wavelengths. When you send out a sylph jay, the bird can sense the change in your thoughts. I hardly ever see them in the wild. No, they're not Malakim. They're just an incredibly rare species native to an right, island. I need to in get some north. action in this. It's episode. a funny story. It's just been a chance storm talky sent us talky talking at that island. And, and a more mother, talky. sadly, the mother bird died almost immediately. Some good information, you know, but story Benwick stuff, in but and kept her eggs safe. So that's you know, why that's Benwick for you. Can do with a little He's bit always of always had a knack for things that would give other people trouble. Maybe when they hatched, they took one look at his wild hair and mistook him for their mother. You know what? They are comfortable enough with him to use his head for their nest. Now that you mention it, he did ask me not to hit him on the head because one of the sylph jays just laid her egg. Well, if more birds are on the way, we could just eat one to see how it tastes. No! Don't even think about it. <laughs> <sighs> oh. All right, I'm actually going to take this time to, uh, you know, do another freaking inventory thing. And, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll resume once that's done. Hello again! Nice to meet you all. Just so you know, I'm a greater Moloch. You're a greater Moloch too, Luffy said. I'm sure we'll get along great. I'm classified as a greater Moloch? That should be no surprise. You've got a lot of power, despite your appearance. You're a greater Moloch too, aren't you, Aizen? So I've been told. But I can't say I care for measures made by folks who tether my kind. 
I didn't know that's what it was. I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. Just promise me you won't judge your own value from a label given to you by others. I won't. I promise. <laughs> what if that's all that gives me self-worth? They're pirates and demons. Pay them no heed. To me, you are the greatest of all. The greatest? Do you really mean it? Oh, Miss Mogulu, you're so kind! You've changed so much since I left. But you haven't changed at all. You are eternally my greatest servant. Oh, I don't want to be the greatest then. Oh, this is bad, bad. And our roster of the oblivious grows longer. We're to meet up with the scouts at Port Zexon. All right. So, as he just said, stole my thunder. We're going to Port Zexon. All right. Let's get some action in this episode. Oh, 14 minutes into it. Or whatever we think we need to do. These are the enemies that are the number one stun. So, I'm expecting to get stunned a lot. I approve of Mogulu's mystic. So she actually knows how to use her well, mystic art at good times. What's the matter, Laffy said? You look like you're not feeling well. Doesn't he always? You can stay out of this. You're a demon swordsman. Aizen is a cursed Moloch. Mogilu is a bizarre witch. But... What am I? <laughs> Turning existential here. You're Velvet's tool and emergency rations, aren't you? That's what Lady Teresa called me too. A tool. But... I'm alive. Ah, uh, I get it. You're starting to wonder what your place in the world is. In that case, there's only one answer. You have to decide it. Huh? It's all up to you. It depends on what you want. That's what it means to be alive. You control the rudder of your life. Your hands on the wheel. My life. My rudder. Doubts are okay, too. They're just further proof you're alive. I'll protect you until you find your answer. Your arts have helped me often enough. All right. I don't really understand. But thank you. Pretty, pretty thanks words for helping me feel better. But take care I don't really listen, get it, kid. but thanks. Demons and Reapers, remember? I hear there's a wicked witch about, too. Get going or get left behind. Ah! We risk the wrath of the revenging reprobate! For now, let our rudders take us forward! Whatever you say, lady. do a little bit of this and call it because the it's kind of getting a little long I 
actually looks like it might take a little while. So, I'm just going to save it here. And then we will pick up Tales of Berseria. Sorry if this episode was a little, you know, too cutscene heavy. And just kind of boring. But, uh... That's just, I guess, how the part of the game was. So... I will see you guys during the next jazz session of Tales of Berseria.